Hi, I'm Casey Malone with the holiday edition of Grand County's Week in Review. Ski Granby Ranch, formerly Sol Vista Basin, opened with several runs and top to bottom skiing thanks to some hard work by the snowmaking crew at the resort. The mountain pine beetle devastation opened some new runs and they added several new terrain park features around the mountain. Ski Granby Ranch plans to extend night skiing and tubing opportunities by opening the resort Friday and Saturday throughout the season from 5 to 8 p.m. During their Winter Wonderland celebration, families can take an old-fashioned wagon ride and enjoy a holiday dinner at the Grill, plus the resort will be hosting a New Year's Eve celebration with torchlight parade and fireworks. Recent snowstorms helped kick off the Nordic season as Snow Mountain Ranch, Devil's Thumb, and the Grand Lake Touring Center all opened for the season. The Grand Lake Touring Center is offering a full moon event on December 27th with hot chocolate and chili by the campfire. Should be fun for the whole family. Check the Grand Nordic website for updates, features, and deals at all of our Nordic facilities. The Tabernash Post Office will become one of 13,000 post offices in the nation, cutting back hours of operation as part of an overall cost-saving measure to return the Postal Service to financial stability. This new strategy is an effort to keep existing post offices in place with modified retail hours. The new Tabernash Post Office hours will be from 7.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 8.30 to 10 a.m. In the spirit of giving, a network of veterans from Steamboat Springs have donated a van to one of our Grand County vets thanks to Dwayne Daly of Granby's American Legion Post 88. Daly was at a district meeting in Steamboat this fall when he learned that a member wished to donate a Ford van with a wheelchair lift and hand controls. The recipient, Michael Smith, a 30-year resident, is paralyzed below the arms from a spinal cord inflammation disease. The van will allow the Smith family to lead a more active life. The van has an estimated value of thirty to forty thousand dollars. Mountain Parks Electric is increasing electricity rates for general service customers January 1st. This is due to a rate increase from their providers, according to Joe Pandy, General Manager for Mountain Parks. The increase in rates is spread across all of Mountain Park Electric's customers and aims to increase the co-op's revenues by four percent. This new increase comes on the heels of an XL Energy rate hike this fall. The Grand County Concert Series opens January 18th and is celebrating its 10th anniversary, offering its most ambitious series of concerts to date. Season ticket packages are $90 and include four winter and two summer concerts. For more information about the 10th anniversary season and all the performers, visit grandcountyconcert.org. For all of us at Grand County TV 18, we would like to wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas and have a safe, happy holiday season. Grand County's Week in Review is brought to you by Grand Mountain Bank, your hometown bank.